Let's graph the linear equation y equals 2x minus 6. And we'll do this two ways. We're going to use a table of values here, and then we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula. So let's start out, put some values in for x, and see what values we get for y. And then we graph those. We can choose any values. I like to choose values I know will fit here on the graph, though. So I'm going to start off with 1, x equals 1. If x equals 1, we have 2 times 1, that's 2, minus 6, that's a negative 4. Then 0, that's always a good one to put in there. 2 times 0, that's 0. 0 minus 6 is minus 6. And then how about negative 1? 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2, plus negative 6. That gives us negative 8. So these are the points that we'll graph for the equation y equals 2x minus 6. So we have, let's see, x is 1, y is negative 4. So x is 1, we go down to negative 4 on the y-axis. When x is 0, y is negative 6. So we go to x is 0, we go down to negative 6. And finally, when x is negative 1, we have y is negative 8. So negative 1 down to negative 8. And you can see that those points, they're all in a line. Let's put a line through there. And then let's put arrows on the end, show it goes to infinity. So this is the line for y equals 2x minus 6. If we put other points, they would be on this line here. You can use two points to make the line. I like to use three. Make sure that if I have a problem here, I'll spot it really quickly. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So if y equals mx plus b, b, that's the y-intercept. That's where the line will cross the y-axis, and that's negative 6. So we have negative 6 right there. That makes sense. For the slope, that's the 2 here. But it's helpful to think this is 2 over 1. It's still 2, but now we have this fraction, and we can say rise over run. So we're going to go to our y-intercept. We're going to rise 2, 1, 2, go over 1. And we can keep doing this. Rise 2, go over 1. Rise 2, go over 1. All those points are on the line. So this is the correct graph here for y equals 2x minus 6. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.